Controlled pumping of polywater lubricant provides consistent lubrication and avoids the mess with hand application. The best pumps are designed for water-based materials and pump a broad lubricant viscosity range at acceptable flow rates. Polywater makes several pumps. The LP3 is a hand-operated, self-priming, piston-style transfer pump. Both liquid and gel polywater lubricants are pumped through the LP3 by adjusting the mechanical advantage ratio setting. The pump instructions include ratio setting recommendations. This adjustment is quick and simple, as is shown here. The LP3 pump mounts directly onto a 5-gallon pail. A 10-foot output hose is standard. Operate the pump with the up and down handle. Increase or decrease the rate of pumping to control the lubricant flow rate. The Polywater Pump LPD5 is powered by a quarter-inch or large electric drill. The LPD5 will pump all Polywater lubricants except the very thick gel DynaBlue. An extension feeder tube allows the LPD5 to draw from a 5-gallon pail or 55-gallon drum. The pump is supplied with a 12-foot output hose. Vary the drill speed to control the lubricant flow rate from the LPD5. When finished, reverse the drill to return the majority of lubricant from the output hose to the bucket. An appropriate lubricant pumping rate depends on duct size, cable count, and pulling speed. Even for large conduits, pumping rates required are generally less than one-third gallon per minute, one and a half liters per minute. Use the pumping rate calculator at www.polywater.com to determine a good starting rate. As a general procedure, pump the required lubricant volume at a rate that evenly distributes the lubricant over the length of the cable. A slightly heavier coating is recommended for the first third of the pole. If a pump is not going to be used for a while, clean it by pumping through water before storing. American Polywater makes three hose attachment lubricators that work with the pumps. The first, which is supplied with all pumps, is a flexible cable guide attachment. The lubricating cable guide works well in a vertical stub-up conduit. The lubricating sleeve guides the cable into the conduit and protects it from the sharp edges of the duct. Lubricant is applied on the cable as it enters the conduit. Position the lubricant output port towards the first inside bend of the conduit so that lubricant is coated on the rubbing side of the cable. Both gel and liquid polywater lubricants can be applied through the flexible sleeve lubricator. The second device, a hook adapter, works best with a feeder tube or vertical conduit. Attach the hook to the output hose by sliding the hose over the long end of the pipe. Then secure with a cable tie or hose clamp. Position the hook so that lubricant flows onto the cable surface that will rub on the first conduit bend. In a vertical position, the hook adapter applies both liquid and gel polywater lubricants. There are several different types of lubricant applicators that you can use to apply polywater lubes to cables. Open this split device by releasing the hasp in the middle of the applicator. Place the device around the cable or wires and refasten. As lubricant is pumped into this applicator, the internal applicator flaps coat the cables as they pass through. Control the pumping rate to completely coat the cables, but not overfill the sleeve. Lubricant applicators can be used in horizontal or vertical applications. Gel lubricants are recommended to prevent lubricant dripping. In summary, choose the polywater pump, applicator, and lubricant that works best for your job. Several are available. Use the polywater calculators to determine the quantity of lubricant needed. Then, use the pumps and collars to thoroughly coat the cable jacket with lubricant. This will optimize lubrication and minimize cable pulling tension for an easier, quality cable installation.